Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Vic's Garage. In this episode, we get to gutting the front end of the car and showing you some of the things we found as we took things apart. Let's get to it. Okay, so front end, mostly disassembled. Uh, in hindsight, I would have taken my bumper off by unbolting the whole bracket assembly down here. Um, but kind of flying by the seat of my pants, so lesson learned there. Gonna show you some of the stuff I found. And it kind of leads me to believe that this car was probably in a front end accident at some point, somewhere along the driver's side. So first thing, We'll see here the previous owner, whoever did this patch somewhere along the line, not very good. Pop rivets, Let's see these here. The uh, choice of quality body effect, uh, professionals, I'm sure. So there's that, which obviously this is gonna need some pretty decent work to get these drilled out. All sanded up, see how the extent of the damage is there. Also up top here, you can see it looks like some brazing and stuff. It's kind of hidden under the paint. So it's like I said, until everything is stripped, you never really know everything you're gonna find. So whatever you have planned or budgeted for body shop work, be prepared to throw that out the window. Here is the front section of the driver's side floor pan. So if you recall, we looked at it from inside and it looks good, but it's a pretty bad patch on the driver's side. So 
decoupling all this stuff, where all the damage seems to be mostly located on the driver's side, leads me to believe that this car was probably hit somewhere uh, on this front end. But the rest of the floor pan underneath doesn't look too bad from what I can tell. Try to get this light in here, you guys a better look. So I don't have it up in a hoist or anything, so I'm just lying on the ground here. Um, rear floor pan. Oh, looks not too bad. So I don't know if we'll have to replace just the front section or the whole floor pan or whatnot, but um, when I get it looked at by a quality body shop, restoration shop, we'll take it from there. So just in case you haven't watched episode two or you watched it a while ago, when we looked at the top floor pan here, like you could tell it's patched, but it looked okay. So you can see the difference. Um, even here where they did the seats for the buckets where it used to be a bench seat, there's supposed to be reinforcement plates that go over the holes and they didn't do that. So you can see how the holes are kind of been compressed down and dish, uh, what is it, malformed by the weight on both sides. There's also all on the transmission tunnel, like this was obviously cut to get the floor shifter to work. So that wasn't the, the greatest of the job. And if we look here, this is still part of the front floor pan section. Some other small patches, even though the, the passenger side looks much better than the front driver side. And here for comparison on the passenger side, you can see it looks relatively good. Yeah, a lot of seam sealer and stuff, but it's not smashed up. Obviously, no rivets or anything holding it together. Uh, just the standard stuff like the weld broke on this when I tried to take it off. You saw when I had to cut the nut. I think it happened on the seat belt on the rear passenger side as well. There also looks like maybe a patch on the frame rail in the front there. So everything is, seems to be located on the driver's side. Like even the K-frame looks okay. Looking at most of the firewall, I've heard like the cowl and stuff like that is a, a huge issue, but coming in here, everything feels solid. So that's good. Like I said, it just, it seems most of the damage seems to be located at a driver's side corner, which is why I honestly think the car was in an accident at some point of its life. You can see here, here's the driver's side fender. Looks pretty good. I don't think there's any real issue with the exterior metal. Uh, a little bit of bubbling down here, you can see. But that's like after 15 years. I had these things painted and um, when it was down to the metal, the, all the exterior metal looked good. There's the inside of the fender. Uh, again, from the other side, I don't notice anything. Uh, once you blast it and whatnot, maybe we find some stuff, but I think like fenders and the shell of the car are gonna be okay. It's gonna be really the floors and that firewall section that we're gonna have to worry about. Just do a quick view of the trunk. I had a few questions asked when I was calling around. Um, you can see everything looks pretty decent. The lip and everything looks pretty good. The floor pan, the only issue here is um, I had a battery in the back that I left for a long time that I should have just took out. A little bit of it leaked and did a little bit of damage there, which I don't know if that's gonna be a huge patch job. Uh, you got where I cut the cage out here but everything is solid from the top there's uh, nothing obvious that I can see looks pretty good overall we'll get into a bit more detail there once we drop the gas tank and we get a good look at it from underneath well there you have it that's how these things go the more you dig the more you find uh, within a week or so 
maybe two I'm gonna have a guy come from a restoration shop I'm considering using he's gonna get a, a look at this car give me his opinion on it and the amount of work required when I get that I will share it with you guys probably via the Instagram channel so remember to check that out uh, and that's it for today's episode if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe it really does help a lot and until the next video I will see you later Thank you.